The immune system, our body's defense mechanism, is responsible for protecting us from invaders. These invaders can be external, like bacteria and viruses, but can also be internal, such as cancer cells. Here we will tell you about a new experimental therapy that aims to strengthen the immune system's ability to target and eliminate cancer cells. Immune cells come from a special type of stem cell called a blood stem cell. These cells act like a factory that continuously produces immune cells. Unfortunately, our bodies do not have specific fighter immune cells to recognize every type of cancer cell to eliminate them from our bodies. To make things more challenging, cancer cells can look almost identical to normal cells, like enemy spies within the body that blend in with the crowd. Luckily, however, the cancer cells often have a tag on their surface to help identify them. One of these tags is called NYESO1. The therapy we will be describing is specifically designed for patients whose cancer cells have this tag. The goal of this therapy is to modify the patient's own immune cells and blood stem cells to recognize and eliminate cancer cells by targeting the NYESO1 tag. We will give the patient's cells specific instructions on how to detect and destroy these cancer cells. These instructions are programmed into a sensor on the surface of the immune cell. When the immune cell and cancer cell encounter one another, the immune helper molecule HLA-A2.1 enables the sensor on the immune cell to recognize the NYESO1 tag, which allows the immune cell to eliminate the cancer cell. However, HLA-A2.1 is only present in 4 out of 10 people. Furthermore, the NYESO1 tag is not found in all cancers. It's predominantly expressed in multiple myeloma and sarcoma, but can be found in other cancer types as well. So only some potential candidates will meet all of the eligibility criteria. Immune cells alone can only attack cancer cells for a few weeks before becoming exhausted. To overcome this, the instructions for detecting and destroying cancer cells will also be programmed into blood stem cells, which will provide the patient's body with a renewable source of immune cell fighters. The therapy is administered in several steps, which take about two months. First, blood stem cells are collected from the patient and modified with instructions to identify and eliminate the cancer cells. Next, immune cells are collected from the patient and receive the same instructions. During this time period, the patient will receive chemotherapy to make space for the modified immune and blood stem cells. Following this therapy, the trained fighters will be put back into the patient's bloodstream where they will attack and destroy the cancer cells. This cutting-edge personalized medicine approach lowers the possibility of the body rejecting the transplanted cells because we are using the patient's own cells to fight cancer. However, there are risks inherent to novel therapies. This new experimental cancer immunotherapy utilizes gene medicine, cell transfer, and stem cell therapy, providing an optional treatment for cancer patients who have few other options. Insurance coverage is required for the non-research-related costs.